I don't know, I'm literally making this up as I go. Literally just play with it until you have it how you like it. Or if you have toddlers or kids or whatever, buy it. So we are officially four days out from the baby shower. So I have quite a bit, quite a bit of things to do, kind of. I mean, I have like majority of the stuff like purchased, but I have to like do the stuff, you know what I mean? Like I, I gotta like bake the cake and bake all the goodies and then decorate and like that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? The other day on the third, which was this last Sunday, was actually my birthday. And this year I decided that I wanted something very chill. I was like, I don't want to like get dressed up and go to a fancy dinner and like do all these things because I'm just big and pregnant and I just really wanted to just be at home. Dad ended up coming over and he cooked um, fajitas and chicken and like a bunch of other stuff for us um, just to eat. And Anthony surprised me with a cake, which I literally, cried because growing up when we would come home from school we would have like balloons and presents and like stuff waiting for us like birthdays were like a th like a big thing in my family but for anthony's family birthdays aren't really like that big of a thing like yeah like we all get together we see each other but it wasn't like a big celebration type of situation and i'm used to like throwing parties and stuff for our birthdays right anthony over the years like he's just never like gone all out for my birthday because it's just it's not what he's used to like i don't blame him i'm not like mad at him for it or anything like that but he just never has and i really like started to express to him like how important birthdays are to me and especially like with us having kids like i was trying to explain to him like i want to have parties for them i want to you know have like presents waiting for them and like i want to make it like magical like how it was when I was a kid and for him he was like not really seeing the purpose but I think he's like starting to understand how I see birthdays and like I feel like everyone should feel special on their birthday like I don't know it's just a it's just my mentality and so this year for the first time I don't think he's ever bought me a cake but he bought me a cake this year and they sang me happy birthday and I didn't cry when they were singing me happy birthday because I was like trying to focus on Elias because I was like trying just not to get emotional plus I'm pregnant so it's so easy for me to cry but whenever he surprised me with the cake because I literally had no idea like I was fully expecting to bake and decorate my own birthday cake and then I was like you know what like I'm gonna have to bake another cake in like a week anyways so it's just not even worth it to me so I'm just not gonna have a cake again and then uh we're just gonna have a chill family day like that's just what was in my mind and when i woke up he was like i got you a little something and i was like we agreed no gifts and he was like well it's not really a gift but like i just just uh, hold on and then he went outside and grabbed it and brought it to me and he was like i he started to express to me like you just learned how to turn on your own yeah <laughs> Elias just turned on his own bounce house and now he's so excited look at <laughs> he's literally Whoa, dude. You turned it on. Good job. Good job, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, now he turned it off. Turn it back on, baby. Turn it back on. But anyways, so he brought it out to me, or brought it inside to me, and he was like, I understand how much birthdays mean to you, and I'm sorry that I haven't, like, you know gone all out in the past and blah 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 but like i just wanted to make sure that you had a cake this year and i literally started a bawling like bawling 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 and uh so yeah i don't know it was very special to me just to have that you know what i mean but anyways with all that being said here's the footage that i got from my birthday it was literally so chill um we didn't really do much but this is the footage from that gotcha Oh my gosh, look at all the balls! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Scott. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's pretty cool. You came up with that on the- Ah! Not in your mouth! <laughs> he goes- <laughs> I wasn't doing anything! <laughs> to the house. Then... You're just trying to hold everything? Yeah. Being selfish. You're gonna be a great baby brother. <laughs> 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 oh, so cool, dude. No, no, sir. Not in your mouth. No. Don't eat it. Spit it out. Oh. No, spit it out. Keep it on the table. Here. Keep it on the table. I don't like this. On the table. Put it up. Oh my gosh, like the softer you like hold it, yeah. it just like. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah. Why is this more fun for us? <laughs> I've never played with this stuff before. I haven't either. Imagine if our beaches were filled with this stuff. It'd be so compacted though because everyone... Oh, but, but whenever you pick it up, it would like... But then like, oh, but then when people drive on it, it'll actually like be solid. So the first thing that I do is I go and I dremel over my entire nail. This creates um, basically something for the the like polish and stuff to grip onto or the glue. Now I'm going in and sizing all of my nails. So I am using coffin shaped nails. Um, I also do almond a lot, but I wanted little square nails. So I'm using the coffin ones. Now I'm using an alcohol pad to get rid of all any dust or oils or and also to dehydrate my nails and doing the base coat. Um, now I am attaching the tips so I go in and you do have to pre-etch these but that's something you just look up a tutorial on TikTok okay I can do an in-depth tutorial on all this stuff but it's it's a lot okay so I was trying not to make this video 12 hours long so now I'm just curing all of the tips now I'm gonna cut them down to size and file them to like the exact shape that I want because like I said I want little short squared um, now I'm using a Dremel and I'm going over the entire nail that's going to help the gel to stick and also make a seamless uh, little blend from my nail to my the little tip or whatever. So now I'm just doing all of the base coats of painting. I have everything linked in my storefront, okay? So now that is the paint that I'm going to use for the designs. Um, so right now I am doing a French tip on that cotton pad. Right there is alcohol and then I'm using a brush and that's basically just how you can shape it up. If you end up messing up, literally just use a cotton pad and alcohol and wipe that summer gun off, you know what I mean? Now I'm doing a zigzag Christmas tree with a white dot on top um, and then a little present and yeah that's pretty much it this is so easy and i learned how to do it literally all on tiktok just look up gel x nails and there will be like so many different tutorials and yeah that's pretty much it i did all of this during my son's nap and i feel like they turned out pretty dang cute so don't mind the do you know what i mean and it's basically free i mean girl mad right elias just learned how to turn on his own bounce house and i actually bought this bounce house like a week before elias's first birthday and ever since I bought it, we have pulled it out so many times. Like this thing has been in my living room. Um, anytime that it's like decent weather outside, we blow it up and he just has a blast in it. It is definitely worth it. It's in my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested or if you have toddlers or kids or whatever, buy it. And it literally takes like two seconds to set up, two seconds to break down. It's so easy and convenient and I love it. Um, he doesn't have a playground right now. He only has the playhouse that I built him, which he absolutely loves. So he plays in that like all the time. But I needed something for him to like climb on. You know what I mean? Like he's a toddler and he's a boy. Like I needed something for him to like 
get aggressive in you know what I mean anyway so now on the list today um, I've already like woken up done two loads of laundry um, yesterday I deep cleaned our bedroom and our bathrooms and that kind of stuff today I kind of just did like the main area like normal cleanups like picked up all the toys fluffed the couch did the dishes wiped the the island like that kind of stuff you know what I mean um but now I actually I get to pick up Selena's dress today and I'm so excited to see like what it turned out to be I'm thinking I'm gonna actually display it for the baby shower I wasn't going to Elias come here he's literally digging in a fire pit love that I think what I'm gonna do is I might put it like on the Christmas tree is that weird is that like okay like I was gonna put it so I'm redecorating the tree basically with like pink stuff so I'm gonna like halfway blow up balloons and like shove it inside of the tree you guys will see that later but I'm thinking about putting the dress on the tree to like display it and be like oh my god look because it's mostly for my grandma like yeah I like I want her to come home in it too and I'm sure my mom does also but Grammy she is like you better put this little girl on this dress or else we're gonna fight like that's <laughs> basically how she is anyways i want her to be able to see the dress and i want it to be on display and i know it's just gonna like melt her heart and that just makes me happy um, i also need to go to dollar tree because i bought the stuff for the gift baskets for the uh like prizes or whatever um i have everything that i'm gonna put inside of it i just need like the actual basket i was thinking about just getting like christmas bags and doing like a christmas present because I don't know i feel like it's just extra for me to get like an actual like wicker basket and those are low-key kind of expensive for no reason so i'm thinking of just getting some little bags and then i need mini peppermints because walmart for some reason was completely sold out and like i could order it like shipping but i'd have to wait like three or four days and i just didn't want to do that so i'm gonna go look at the dollar store and see if they have some there oh my gosh it's hard to sit any type of way when you're pregnant. Am I crooked? My tripod's broke, so I have to guess if it's straight. If it's crooked, I'm sorry, just turn your head a little bit. But anyways, so I went to the dollar store and I ended up getting these little gift bags. I got two of them because like I said before, we're doing two little prizes or whatever. So I just got two little basic bags. And then I got, I already had the stuff to go inside of them. And then I also got some tissue paper, and then I, I just picked these up. They're just, just random, but they're just two different cookies. I figured I was going to put, like, chocolates in it, and I was like, mm, nah. I'm also going to get a gift card to put in here. I'm thinking I'm going to do Amazon. I was going to do Target, but I feel like if I get a $25 gift card to Target, girl, what are you going to buy? You know what I mean? What, what will $25 get you at Target? Not yet. So, I think I'm going to just do Amazon. Um, I feel like more people shop on Amazon because Amazon is literally taking over the world. If you didn't know, you can literally hire a doctor on Amazon now. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. I got two little throw blankets from Walmart. So, this one I wanted so bad for myself. It is so hard to Christmas shop for other people whenever you want the shit yourself. Okay, like this would be so cute on my couch, but my husband was like, no, you're only getting one. So I guess I'll give it to someone lucky enough. It's just a green <clears throat> throw blanket and it has like little Christmas trees all over it. Super freaking cute. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in here. And then I also got this one. This is a navy blue one and it has snowflakes all over it. So I'm going to put that one in there. I got two cups so one of them is a red one and it just says merry christmas and then the other one is like a little gingerbread house type situation thing and then i got two pairs of fuzzy socks so i think i'm gonna put the red one in with the red cup and the green one with this one because it has little it has more little green accents and stuff but this one has santa claus on it and the other one what's on here gingerbread men these are so cute this is another thing that i wanted for myself which one should go in which i think i'm gonna do the red merry christmas thing in with the green blanket and then we're gonna do the gingerbread house with the navy blanket i don't know why that's just what we're doing okay and then i'm gonna throw in these two cookies these literally do not matter but there's that and then I think I'm gonna put a gift card in there 
and if there's anything else I find I have some peppermints in there um, I might like sprinkle some of those in there why would they put a sticker on the tissue paper like how does that it's literally paper to add the gift cards and then I think that's it that's a good gift right for like a, just a little gift basket type situation thing I don't know I hope so my love language is gift giving so like I never feel like it's enough but Anthony was like that's plenty so I'm s uh I just want to put so much more in here so I just went and picked up Celine's dress and you guys this little dress is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen look at her it is so pretty and they brightened it up and it's it's still like a little bit yellowed but it's not anything like compared to what it was so um like all of these flowers were like discolored and everything but now they're so white and pretty and a little pink bow and then I also have the little under what is this called what do they call this a slip so this one uh, is what goes underneath the dress and it just like fluffs it out and whatever but it has like the little pink um, roses on it and it's just so cute and everything is way better as far as color goes um, so I actually went to go pick it up yesterday and it wasn't done they literally were like oh can you come tomorrow please so now I am sitting in the Target parking lot because no one decided to tell me that we were running low on toilet paper. So we were literally using paper towels today. So I'm doing a Target pickup and um, I thought it was gonna be ready by the time I had to pick up the dress, but it's not ready yet. So me and Bubs are just literally sitting in the parking lot. I'm waiting to get the text message that says like, oh, it's your order's ready for pickup, blah, blah, blah. So after I do this, I have to go home like kind of quickly because Lex is coming over. Lex is one of my best friends, if you don't know that. But uh, she's coming over because she is going to be grooming Heidi because this weekend, as you know, is our baby shower. And I'm not trying to have all these people touching all over my stinky dog. You know what I mean? So she's going to like cut her nails, brush her teeth, clean her ears, um, bathe her, do like the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? So I have to go home so that she can do that. So I wasn't going to do this today. I was actually planning on doing this tomorrow. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, or at least like start it or whatever. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this tree, I'm gonna try to take off as much red as I can um, and try and add in as much pink as I can. So like I got some pink balloons, um, pink ribbon, and like just some other things, uh, some pink lights that I'm gonna go ahead and put on here. But first I'm gonna try and take off as much red as I can. So I did the hack that I seen on TikTok to where you get like the pipe cleaner and you put like the three ornaments onto one pipe cleaner and then you tie it around the tree and it's supposed to be like a lot more full and help with like toddlers and stuff like that. So the ones that are like that that have red, I'm gonna leave because they have the silver already, which I'm leaving all of the silver on the tree. But any of the ones that are like single red ornaments, I'm gonna try and take off. So, and then like uh, stuff like this, um, I'm gonna leave this one and this one because my mom actually made these for us and they have our names on them So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those but everything else is gonna come off I'm also gonna leave this blue one because this is for um, Grandma Stella, which is what Celine's middle name is named after um, But this is her Ornament that my mom made and it has her name on the front and then on the back of it It has angel wings with a Dallas Cowboy star because this woman was literally the biggest Dallas Cowboys fan that I know um but anyways i'm gonna leave that one as well so that is gonna be on there but everything else is gonna be like pink and i'm gonna try and add in as much pink as i can i also seen the hack on tiktok to where they covered ornaments in a balloon and you can like hang it that way which is a genius idea but it takes it doesn't take a lot of time but to do like multiple ornaments would take a while so i did a couple but then i was like why don't i literally just blow up balloons like to this size or maybe even a little bit bigger and then literally just shove them into the tree so i'm gonna try that and see what happens and if it's just like really ugly then i'll end up doing the ornament thing um because i was covering all of my gold because this year i decided i wanted to go from red and gold to red and silver but anyways 
So yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna get to decorating the tree and we'll just fingers crossed that it turns out good. <laughs> this bow. I literally made this. Shout out to my grandma for teaching me these things when I was a kid. I just realized you guys can't even see the top of the Christmas tree. First thing that I have is I just got a small strand of these pink lights from Hobby Lobby and they were like 50% off so I literally got them for like three dollars. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times So here's another sky tutorial. So I'm gonna be making some bows. So I need to make a big bow to put on the top, and then I'm gonna make four little bows that I mean not little but like smaller bows to put like all around the tree. So basically you want to make sure that you have pipe cleaners, ribbon, and scissors. Okay, that's literally that's all you need. And also I like to use um the ribbon that has the wire in it because you can like mold it and shape it and whatnot. But anyways, you make like a tiny little loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you literally just twist loop twist loop twist loop and you're gonna do that over and over and over again until you have as many as you want i ended up doing five on each side right here then you're gonna string your pipe cleaner through the middle part of it um i use pipe cleaners because it has wire in it and i am i bought like a hundred pack on amazon when i was doing the ornament thing that i was telling you guys about and so we're just using it for this project too, you know what I mean? But anyways, this is also how you're going to attach it to the tree. So don't trim this, okay? I mean, you can, like, if you really want to, but <clears throat> it's a lot easier to attach it to the tree when you have all that pipe cleaner. So now I'm just kind of fluffing it out, making sure that it's exactly how I want it before I cut the ribbon. Um, you can, like, pull loops to, like, make other ones smaller, or you can, like, literally just play with it until you have it how you like it. And then I cut the um, regular edge first, so the one that was already cut. And then I go in and I measure, you know, the length of it, and then I cut the other side. And then after that, you literally just play around with it until it looks exactly how you want it. And then boom, look, you got a big flower. Now, look, so you make a small loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm making a smaller one now. And then you twist the back. Oh, my son gave me his thingy. Twist the back. You make a little loop. Twist. Make a loop on the other side. Twist. And then you can either keep making loops or stop there. I'm choosing to stop there because these are the ones that I want to be small. So then you do the whole pipe cleaner thing. Fluff it out. Um, I pull the first edge to make the inner loop like a lot smaller so that way it's not like overbearing. And then you just cut it and that's literally it. Like, it's so easy to do these, and then I just trim the wire that comes out because sometimes it'll, like, stick out on the edges um, whenever you're, like, shaping it and everything. And look, look at how freaking adorable. Like, how cute. Oh, my gosh. And then this is what they look like on the tree. It is so pretty, in my opinion. Like, oh, my. Like, look at how it just sits perfectly. Oh, Grandma. I left that on there. I had to enter that or put that in there because... Of course, Celine is named after her, and it's the only blue ornament on my tree. But look at how pretty it turned out. The balloon hack, definitely do it, okay? Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Okay, so just a quick little update. So I have been baking. Um, yesterday, I baked the, the two cakes, and then I decided to freeze them because I prefer to decorate the cakes frozen. But anyways, so I did that. Then just now, um, I mixed up like the icing and all that stuff. Yes, baby. He hears me talking, so he, that's the only reason why he's calling me. Um, so I mixed up all of the icings and I ended up doing pink, green, uh, red, and white. But the red, I look, I kind of don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. So I used the red uh, dye and it looks hot pink. And I didn't want to put like a like I put like a generous amount so I feel like if I put any more it's gonna taste bitter or just like it's gonna be too much like dye inside of it 
but it literally looks hot pink I, um i tried the hack of putting it in the microwave for like a couple seconds and then um that really brought out the red but now that it's cooling it's literally just turning back to hot pink so i don't really know but i also did some white and some green um and then i'm gonna put like candy canes and stuff on it too and i got edible snowflakes and sprinkles so anyways we're decorating the cake right now i already have it crumb, crumb coated so i'm just letting it sit in the freezer for a couple of minutes to harden and then I will be doing the final coat and the actual decorating. But I'm gonna go see if Elias wants to go down for a nap because he's literally screaming at me. Only because he hears me talking. Like that's the only reason why he was perfectly content, perfectly fine while I was doing the crumb coat. And now that I'm talking, he just wants to scream. Say, I think he's getting sleepy. So I have a slight problem because I baked brownies and my, my uh, intention was that I was gonna like cut them into like triangles so that way I could make them look like little Santa hats or maybe even a couple some Christmas trees. Um, you see the issue is that it's it's not coming out. And I buttered and floured the pan and everything thinking it would be okay. And it's not working. I did just finish the cake though, so um, just so you guys know, I did make a TikTok about it. That's why I didn't like vlog too much of it, but I did make a TikTok about it. So if you haven't already, go check out the TikTok if you want to see like how I decorated it. But I will show you guys what it looks like here in a little bit. Okay, well. Oh no. Well, good news is the whole thing didn't stick. They taste good. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. We're just gonna guess. Honestly, not mad at it, to be honest. So I, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from one half. So that's not too shabby. I guess I'm gonna do these with y'all since I didn't do the um, cake. But I plan on doing some of these as Christmas trees and then some of them as um santa hats so i'm gonna start off with the pink because that's what i have the most of and i'm gonna try to do like every other one this is the only green that i have so i might only be able to do like a couple of these so we'll find out Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased How cute! Look at them! I'm gonna do a couple more Santa hats But I'm gonna do the Christmas trees So that way I can see how much I have Because... I just don't know how much I have. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh. Now, I have some sprinkles and, oh, I need to put marshmallows. I'm using marsh the mini marshmallows as the little ball for the hats. And then I have like sprinkles and stuff that I'm going to use for the ornaments for the Christmas tree because it has like little pearls and stuff in it. I don't know, I'm literally making this up as I go. So... This is what we have so far. And then now I'm about to decorate the little Christmas trees. I'm just gonna like throw some sprinkles on there. Well first I'm gonna take the big pearl and put them at the top. And then I'm just gonna put sprinkles like all over the tree basically.
Y'all, I am stressed. Our power just went out. Uh, I was in the middle of like cleaning up from the brownies and everything, and literally everything is just dark. Uh, everything just shut down. And I mean, the cake is in the fridge. The brownies are in the fridge now, but they weren't. Um, luckily, I already did all the baking and stuff, everything I needed power for, I guess. So they're building a house next door. And so Anthony was saying that maybe Encore was connecting the power for next door, but there's literally like not a soul out there. And it's a Saturday, today's Saturday. So I don't understand like why, like there's, I don't think there's anyone working on it. So I don't know. So Anthony was like, well, our bill says zero due because we have it on auto draft or whatever, so it's not that. And so he said, well, I guess we just have to wait for it to turn back on. And I was like, well, I hope it turns back on. So I just want to put like the tablecloth down and then I have like big things that are going out like a big ass fruit bowl, my um, crock pot, the eggnog thing, all that kind of stuff. So I kind of just want to see what's going to go where roughly and then that's it for tonight. And then we're just going to go straight into it tomorrow. She's having a sleepover so she's going to stay the night and then tomorrow we're going to get ready together and that's I tried to make it to where that's literally all that I have to do tomorrow is get ready. I don't have to do shit else. So, anyways, this was about that. Everything off. And I want trees mm -hmm. kind of scattered. Like, yeah, just like make it cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so we set everything up. So in here is gonna be eggnog, fruit, um, plates, napkins, of course. Cake is gonna go there, sandwiches there. There's gonna be an identical plate right next to it that is gonna have the brownies on it. And there's gonna be pink lemonade, and then we have the hot cocoa bar. So we got the cups, this is where the milk's gonna go, and then all of the fixins are gonna be here. So we're gonna have marshmallows, chocolate chips, peppermints, and then my mom is bringing a can of whipped cream. And then when I was at Walmart, I went looking for something that was pink that wasn't, like something that I didn't have to make, basically. So I found these marshmallows that are vanilla and strawberry, and then these little cake thingies. I think they're chocolate on the inside, but I don't really know, I've never had them. But anyway, so those are gonna go on this little snowflake platter thing. And then that's pretty much it. So in the morning, literally all we have to do is fill everything up and be done. 